hi guys welcome to another video today's video we are trying out a new skin tint by Too Faced the born this way healthy glow skin tint that's what I got going on right now so if you want to know my thoughts on this the wear test and all of that make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys Okay guys, so I picked up the new Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow Moisturizing Skin Tint in SPF 30. I have it in the shade Maple. I just used the chart that Sephora suggested. If you were this shade in the, ver the matte version or the original version of the Born This Way, then this is the shade they said I would be in in the skin tint. And it says that it's a moisturizing skin tint with watermelon, apple, hyaluronic acid. And it comes in a bottle. Reminds you very much so of the Dior Backstage. I have a damp sponge and I also have my brush. So we're going to see how this applies. Let's do one side first. Let's see. How many ounces is this? Two Floyd ounces and it was $42. Hopefully this is my shade. With skin tints, you can never really tell. So you see the consistency of it? It's not as thick. I didn't want to get chai because I'm not chai in any of their foundations. Chai on me is too deep and warm. So I was hoping, I am hoping that this works. Let's do one side and see. No smell, which is a bonus. It does have some sheen to it. A glow, healthy glow. I love the Too Faced Born This Way line. Well, the concealer. Well, I have the matte foundation also, and I enjoy both of those. So I was really excited when this came out. It's a medium coverage, as you can see. It did cover the little dark areas I had. I'm on my summer kick uh, foundation, getting ready for summer, trying to find, you know, what foundations or what skin tints I'm going to use for summer because no one wants to wear, like, heavy stuff throughout the summertime. I'm going to take my damp sponge. And let's just pat it in to see. You know, once you use your sponge to pat it in, it calms down the glowiness of it. It's pretty. It looks natural. Now let's do the other side. I'm going to do the other side with just a sponge while I tell you some of the claims about this foundation. So the foundation comes in 18 shades, which is, you know, pretty standard and typical for a skin tint. Skin tint, tint, skin tints, tint, or not to come in a, like, a wide variety of shades. Too Faced Born is by Healthy Glow SPF 30 Skin Tint Foundation is an all-free nourishing serum foundation, foundation with 24-hour wear and hydration with SPF 30 protection for healthy glowy skin.
formulated with 75% skin caring ingredients. Make sure to shake well before use. Coconut water aids in delicacy, replenishing skin's moisture levels, hydrating complex of apple, lentil, watermelon, and lychee extracts. I feel like the sponge side and the brush side are both looking the same. I don't really see a difference, <laughs> if I'm being honest. No, I don't see a difference. I'm glad I went with this shade because on the chart, Cha looks like, even including the model, looks like it would be my skin tone. But I just knew that Cha was going to be way too warm. Like, way too warm. So, let's go ahead and press this in. Make sure everything is blended. We're going to do a wear test on this also because I'm going to work. Let me get my Too Faced concealer since we're doing this. This is one thing that I need to pick up another one of it. I, another one of it. Another one. I think it's, I forgot, it's not butterscotch. I forgot what my other highlight shade is. But this is sand. Sand is kind of neutral. But I know I have one that's golden, but I'm all out of it. Can't think of the name of it. But this uh, Born This Way Multi Sculpt Concealer, a really good concealer. Yeah, I know I'm a, a concealer girl. I love me some good concealer anyway. Sand is not bad, it's just neutral. Where I like golden. The foundation still has a radiant to it, still has a little shine to it. Too Faced is a wine brand that I really enjoy. I love Too Faced products. Can't say that. I just recently found a little bit of their mini palettes that I've been going crazy over. Yeah, I still have a little bit of shine to it. To me. Okay. I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way Translucent Powder. Another thing I found out my stash recently. A, a brand new thing. I have the caramelized peach one. I like both of them. So I'll go ahead and set this concealer. My face doesn't feel sticky. Doesn't feel oily, greasy. I don't, right now, I don't feel like I will get extra oily. So, let's give it a go. Let's see. So far, so good. Got powder everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, where's my contour brush and all that good stuff? I'm going to take my Black Radiance Powder and Black Coffee. Contour with.
This is some pretty powder. I think I'm gonna pick up another one. I have been, I've been used to using my Julia's place, but I love this one. Found it in my stash. So I need to pick it up before Black Radiance is discontinuing like all of it. And my Sweet Cheeks blush by Shein. The two darker shades on the end. Mix them. Blush myself. And to set my face, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way powder in Chai. This was before I realized that Chai was not my shade, but I should be okay because this doesn't cause much problems. So that should tell you how long I had this. Oh, so far everything has set really nicely on my face. Like go really nicely. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Really nicely. Make sure I get all that powder up. And I need some gloss. My Peach Bellini Elf Gloss. Yeah. Even though I got it everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Oh my God. Okay guys, this is the completed look. To me, it's a high medium coverage skin tint. If you were looking for more fuller coverage, you probably would have to color correct first or lay down a concealer. But to me, it's giving enough coverage. I have a little friend right here who decided to show up to the party. But right now, I feel like it's looking really good on my skin. I don't feel anything on my skin. My skin feels and looks lightweight. It's not really glowy, but we shall see throughout the day if I get glowy or start to get a little oily. We shall see. But as of right now, my face is just looking really natural and subtle which y'all know that's the look that I love. So I'll see you in a couple of hours when I get off from work. Bye guys. Okay guys, I am back after 13 hours. Right quick because you know I always tell y'all whatever is on my spirit. Please pray for the people in Tennessee. I woke up this morning for whatever reason I left my television on, must be the news channel, so the news woke me up. So my day has been like really, really icky. And I just pray for the families. I pray the Lord just surround them and cover them and just give them all the love they need right now because they really, really need a lot of love. And it just, it just bothered me all day that this world could be as crazy as it is you know like one thing about me is my mood is normally like this it takes a whole heck of a lot to get me angry to get me disturbed to get me mad it takes a whole lot but for anyone to mess with children elderly people and people with mental illness that is the one thing that can take me from zero to a hundred like it will just make my blood pressure boil for anybody to mistreat any of those because those are the three groups that I feel can't help themselves so for anyone to do harm to them just aggravates me to no end so I'm just praying for the families and praying that the Lord just just 
hugs them and just console them in their time of need because right now they really need it and I can't say I know what you're going through I feel your pain I can't say that because I don't know but just know that you're loved and you have support and you'll get not through this but you'll find a way to live with this live with this reality now okay so now that I said that let me go before I start crying because I get emotional <sighs> Okay, so yeah, 13 hours. Hmm, this is my new foundation of the year. You hear what I say? This is skin tint, this is not a foundation. This is my new skin tint of the year. I, all throughout work, I hope I ain't got no chicken. I was eating chicken. I kept looking in the mirror. I'm like, still look good. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 4 o'clock. <laughs> still look good. Like, Oh my goodness, it still looks good. When I first put it on, of course, it was glowy. A little skeptical, but not real skeptical because I enjoy a good glowy foundation. When I say this skin tint is everything, this skin tint is everything to me. I'm going to take my foundation brush from this morning. No more. Oh, I told my friend. Let me see. I told one of my friends here on YouTube that I would blot with a napkin. Okay. So here's the white napkin, right? So let's blot. Because I told her I will blot with a white napkin. So let's just blot. And may, I wouldn't even say all it. It was mainly that my eyebrows had a little sheen to it. So let's see. Huh. I love it. I love the combination I used this morning. Love the combination. And this is all that I got. Not a lot at all. Not a lot at all. So let's dust. For the sake of me dusting. Look at that, y'all. I got a new foundation. Okay, hey, itching. Okay, this is how it looks. Tell me. This is not beautiful. Normally, I don't tell y'all to run out and get anything. I just be like, if you like it and you want to give it a try, go ahead and, you know, give it a try. But right now, not chicken on my teeth? No. Right now, go get this. This is going to be, this is beautiful all year long. But I feel like for summertime, ain't no stopping this. I'm going to link it below and I want you to purchase it I want you to purchase it and I want you to love it as much as I love it because and once my um, breakout clears up even though nothing is wrong with my face now like it's gonna be even better the shade maple for me was spot on like I, I'm gonna wear this tomorrow to work I love everything about this foundation skin tint whatever it is love it so if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like comment subscribe share the video all of that good stuff and i really don't have to take it off look at my yes i do have to take it off when my wig start lifting yes you do peace out bye guys